Welcome back to Max Reaction. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing great. I'm having a good day. Let me know how you're doing down below. And anyway, we're going to react to the 2018 MBFI Outstanding Filipino Lieutenant Colonel Thomas Ryan. Uh, this was recommended to me to watch. We've been reacting to a lot of military stuff about the Philippines. So we're going to go ahead and react to this. He's an outstanding Filipino uh, let's check his story out, shall we? Let's do this together. Look at that shit. Look at that uh, aircraft. Woo! Recognizing the Philippine Air Force. Instead of leaving his post like most of the PATH pilots, one man stayed and committed himself to teaching and training the remaining few pilots. Awesome! Squadron Commander, 7th Tactical Fighter Squadron. Uh, choose yung trabaho na kahit na hindi ka swelduhan, yes. gusto mo pa rin gawin. So, yun yung iniisip ko na, ano, na satisfaction ko doon sa trabaho. A job you love and let you serve. Siyempre, yung makatulong sa, sa aspect ng security, which is also din na dapat occasion din na mat matuturin. It's very, very good. He wants to It's serve his country. Yung, ano, yung pita project mo. Uh, you're also carrying yung, yung source of commission, kung anong organization ka, kung anong branch of government ka, and it will ano, reflect dun sa, sa ano, kung anong organization na yun yun. There's a lot of honor in that, it really is. He trained professional combat pilots. And they've already been used, the ones he trained. Efficiency and effectively. Wow. So his love for his jobs actually helped even in more ways. Two ship leader, four ship leader, flight examiner, instructor, pilot, test pilot, he can do it all. Amen. It goes with his personality. Maybe because Penguin lives in a cold place, you can attribute it on how quiet, on how soft spoken he is. He doesn't say a lot, but I see how concerned he is to his people. I can see his heart. I can feel it as his subordinate. So, what I, say, what I can say about Penguin, his contribution in the military is. I'd say very hard to follow. Yeah. I'd say it's worth emulating. It's very inspiring. It is somebody that a lot of us, the young generation, should actually take an example or should follow. Awesome. Lead by example. Uh, every time That's I lead by is. commander or element lead, confident ako na matitigibar namin yung mission. Lalo na pag nandyan siya kasi very mature, very serious, Tsaka paglipad, hindi ka kakabahan na kasama mo siya kasi tahimik lang siya. Si Colonel Sagan, very confident siya sa'yo na hindi ka niya tinatanong kung prepared ka o alam niya prepared ka. Lahat naman kinakabahan pag gano'n, pag gano'n. He's a leader. Okay. Uh, leader, leader. Meron lang akong, kung minsan kasi parang ituring mo na yung sarili mo ay paray na. Mawawalan ka lang ano eh, mawawalan ka lang kaba. Pero sa tingin ko, sa aking experience, pag nag-start na yung engine, Wala na lahat yan. Kumbaga, Fearless. Sa simula lang sa planning, parang pagpapunta ka sa pag-step mo sa aircraft, uh, yung challenge sa akin kasi ako yung uh, most of the time leader, eh, eh, hindi ko dapat siya ipakita sa, sa, sa subordinate ko. Kasi sila rin, ganun din sigurado yung napipin nila. Give you a sense of pride. Pride, baby, pride. pride.
Night strikes, surgical air strikes, missions against terrorists and bandits. Bandits. Against international enemies, Butang, Lapser, Basalan. 146 Comet missions. That is a lot. Most ever achieved by any Philippine Air Force pilot. Wow. <laughs> he is a vital in Marawi. He didn't take a break during Marawi siege. Wow. Thank you, sir. You know, we make sure na lahat ng ano, lahat ng missions namin is uh, kung ano yung only hit the ano specific yung, target. Be accurate. Na target. Yun lang yun. Accurate is, yun lang is yun. important. Yun lang yun ang ano, ang ang uh, easy deliver. So, in any case na merong doubt, kahit na sa utak mo lang o parang hindi, uh, inaabot na din yun. Kasi it's better to to save na yung isa kaysa madamay yung what you said. Mamiss mo na yung target mo basta wala lang madamay na na hindi kasama dapat doon. Don't want to kill innocent Parang, people. Oh, That's or, for sure. You you forego with that with the target. Just to make sure na just to make you eat at least or na uh, tama yung ano. Tama yung gagawin mo. Kasi it will think oh, it will hunt me for the rest of my life. Pag, wow. Pag uh, isang miss lang na uh, hindi dapat yun. Parang uh, nothing will nothing for it. Sigad lang mga absorb sa'yo. Siguro kung kamali ka mo. Ang gusto ko lang is masustain yung ginagawa namin na efforts to, to work. Absolutely. Kasi, uh, primary mission he wants perfection. To, on the external security side. Uh, just happens na natakling kami for the internal security operations. But uh, uh, sa akin, primarily sa yung aking, yung gusto ko talaga is uh, magkaroon tayo ng, may balik yung capability ng 1970s na nandun tayo sa tuktok ng ano, ng pag sinabi mo sa ASEAN region, yung Philippines yung pinakamay, pinakamalakas na Air Force. Ngayon, we are playing catch, catch, nagka-catch up tayo. So, hopefully, sana before ako mag-retire, uh, medyo makapantay man lang tayo doon. Philippine Air Force is lagging behind, but he wants to achieve yun yun number one. Gusto kong mangyari sana. And I will work kung ano man yung kaya kong magawa uh, para makuha lang yun. That's a very good goal. It's an awesome goal. So that's in the, the video. So he's he's an awesome dude. Um, he he should rank up in the Philippines really really high because he's there to protect the Philippine country, the Philippine people. That's his desire. He don't want to hurt any innocent people while he's doing it. He wants to teach the young so the Air Force can get better and better, better. You know, um, he's somebody that the young can look up to because. He does it with action. He's not so much doing it with his words, but he's doing it with action. A leader does with, you know, a leader is words and action, you know, and that's what he is. I think it said that he performed 146 uh, missions. That is a lot. Most of any Filipino ever. I mean, that is an achievement. And it said that he played a vital, vital role and then stopping the Marawi conflict. And we know how brutal, how, how bad that was, and how accurate he probably had to be, you know, because they overran a city with innocent people still there, you know. It's just impressive. It's impressive what some people can do. A man like this needs to be held up, and uh, we need to remember him and support him because he's a vital part of not just the Philippines, of the world, because the world needs a lot of people like this man. So thank you, Thomas Ryan, uh, for everything you do for the Philippines and, and for the world. You know, you're an example of what good people are, and it's really hard to find a person like this. But I'm sure he's going to form more people under him that'll be like him and have the greatness that he has. And hopefully the Philippine Air Force can get the Air Force where it needs to be, because I'm going to trust what Thomas Ryan has to say, 
Um, sounds like he's the lead lead pilot, and he says they're lagging behind, so I'm gonna have to trust what he says, and hopefully we can get the Philippines on top in Southeast Asia and in the world. How about that? That's the goal. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Those are my reactions. What's your thoughts? What's your reactions? Let me know down below, and uh, hopefully you choose Max Reaction next time. Hopefully you join the family. If you do, hit that subscribe button. Become part of Max Reaction. For now, I'll see you next time. Peace.